Well, certainly no tropical action here, but we did start off the day very rainy, kind of gloomy, patchy fog and showers moving through. Conditions now much drier, but blustery and chilly out at this hour. Let's take a look outside at your live cam in East Providence here. Clear view of our city skyline at this hour, but as I mentioned, much breezier now as the cold front associated with the showers we were seeing earlier today has passed offshore, and this is going to set up a trend of much cooler weather over the next couple of days. Temperatures right now, they're settling in some spots already in the lower 40s. 42 in Smithfield right now compared to temperatures still close to 50 down at the coast, 50 in Newport exactly. Providence kind of right in between right now at 46 degrees. So as I mentioned, it'll be windy and chilly overnight tonight. That's going to lead to a brisk start to your Tuesday morning as you're stepping out the door. Definitely going to want to layer up. It's going to feel a little bit more like winter out there, especially with those winds. And that cool trend, as I mentioned, is going to continue through at least the midweek before things start to warm up a little bit towards the weekend. And let's take a look at the wind gust forecast here as we head towards your Tuesday morning. Offshore and inland going to be seeing very breezy conditions on and off throughout the day. Wind gusts 15 to 20 miles an hour in the morning. That increasing as we head towards the afternoon, especially offshore. A small craft advisory is in effect at least through tomorrow morning. I'm expecting that to get extended, though, with kind of those breezy, gusty conditions continuing well into the day tomorrow and on Wednesday. And with that, your wind chill forecast here as we head towards the start of your Tuesday morning, 7, 8 o'clock. Those feel like temperatures feeling a little bit more like winter tomorrow, settling in the lower 30s and upper 20s. So again, as you're heading out the door, be mindful. You're going to want to wear a couple extra layers here as it's going to feel very cold to start. Those wind chills will moderate those. We head towards the afternoon and those temperatures do start to increase. Satellite and radar clear conditions right now. Again, as that low pressure system associated with all those showers we saw earlier today, now moving well to our northeast, but again, leaving behind very gusty and chilly conditions as we head towards those overnight hours. So let's take a look at the extended forecast overnight tonight. Very chilly conditions with kind of a northwesterly to westerly flow across the area. Again, small craft advisory in place down at the coast and inland as well. Feeling those breezy, chilly conditions to start your day as you're stepping out the door. Even as we head towards the afternoon, though, we will start to warm up, but those highs will only approach the low to mid 50, so we'll still be well below average for what we typically see this time of year. And with the clear conditions, plenty of sunshine throughout the day, and then mainly clear conditions at night, we'll be seeing another chilly night ahead Tuesday into Wednesday. So again, your Tuesday morning chilly start. We'll see a little bit of light cloud coverage at times, but mainly sunny throughout the day. But again, staying breezy and those high temperatures kind of limited to only reaching the low to mid 50. So below average for this time of year, kind of leading way to a very breezy day and uh, very chilly as well throughout the next several days here. Again, high pressure will keep things dry and will eventually warm things up by the weekend. So we do have something to look forward to, but unfortunately, <laughs> the next few mornings, especially with kids heading back to school, going to be very chilly to start your day over the next couple days. And we've noticed in the live pictures from downtown Providence near the amp, mm. the flags uh, going hard out there yes. tonight with the breeze. That's continuing to make things even cooler tomorrow. Yeah, yep, and those high temperatures, unfortunately, aren't really going to get that much warmer. <laughs> Leaves are going to be coming down, too. Yes. All right, Katie, thank you.